We kill steal this guy. We're gonna get an assist anyway. Boom! MVP. Alright, good morning, Wasteland. Mr. G, bring myself some coffee and use some cross out. Here we are on our Nuber G account. This account is a mere level 7 engineers. Uh, we've only got a part limit of 35. We got our first blue part here. So we sold all the resources we could get. We made a trade. We got a growl, which was a good thing to start with as your first uh, blue part and cross out. I mean, you could get the hardcore engine. Or you could get the big G uh, generator, but you know what? This gives us more speed, and it gives us more energy all in one. So I think the Growl is probably the first cab you might want to go with and start with. So we've made ourselves uh, a triple Lupara shotgun build here. So we've done a couple things. We've made sure to either put the Luparas on the cab or on a grill piece and at least one other part. So it's mounted to at least two parts. We could have put it right to the side of the cab, but that makes for goofy firing angles. So we've got some armor in front of our guns. Uh, we're trying to use as many bumpers as we can as well, because bumpers are really good for damage resistance. And we've got two coolers uh, underneath this thing. Uh, let's go see how it does in combat. Uh, and if we have any, make sure you guys have your co-drivers that you are using those. Um, Bulldog's the one you'd want to use, but we don't have that unlocked yet. So we do have shotgun damage plus one here on Master Jack. That's going to help us out a little bit. All right. Bot time. Bot killing time. Those guns are done on Abigail. Let's finish off Abby here. Get the angles here. There we go. Take an assist. Let's go grab Helen here. How guns come off at this power score so quickly. Let's get that last cord off Helen. There it is. Actual player. Got somebody with a vector here. Good. Uh, nope. Rapier. Don't do the rapier. Don't. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let me get these guns off this guy. Done. He had a much higher power score build than us, but we still managed to take him out. Because uh, better protected guns. We still have all three of our guns. Let's get. This. It's all about armoring your guns in this game, guys. It's just you got to get their guns before they get yours. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. No, <laughs> oh, there's three of us versus a whole pile of them. All right. What are we gonna do here, G? Sneak up on this guy. Let's try. Let's try. Come here, friend. We gotta get that. We gotta get that off there. That Avenger's gotta go. We gotta get that Avenger off. We gotta get that Avenger. Needs to go. Don't tell me to self-destruct. We're the last one left. We tried. We tried. We're done. <laughs> okay. All right. We're done. We're done. We did okay, though. Alright, we are following all our bots into combat right now. Which is a fair few of them. There goes Ethan. Ah, that's a lot of baddies back there. It's got a purple radar detector at this power score. Seems a little unnecessary on a bot, but okay. Whatever. Okay, he's got no weapons left. None. Done. Say goodnight, Ethan. How are our all right? Our team is dead. They're just like wet toilet paper. They're all <laughs> they're all dead. They're just all dead. Let's get weapons off this guy. There's the there's the actual team over there. It's not good. We got a tactical retreat here. Tactical retreat. Where's my team, guys? <laughs> oh dear. We're doing okay. Carjack on Well, we've neutered that guy. Come on. Let's get... Yep, we got another two kills. Yep. This build works, but just not getting teams that work very well. Come on. There we go. We're toast. All right, let's, let's fiddle around here in Garage. And let's build ourselves uh, a new toy here. Because we can. So that was our shotgun build, and I'll put this one on exhibition uh, if you guys want. I mean, it's nothing fancy, but if you're just super new to the game and you're like level 7, um, you'll be able to use this one. I'll put this one on exhibition at the end, so stick around to the end. 
uh, and we'll put it on there. So what are we going to do here? All uh, right. So let's get our frames here underneath. A little weight underneath your build is not a bad thing um, because it lowers your center of mass, especially with a light build. All right, we're going to go boom. And boom. Okay, we've got one extra energy. Be great to have an engine. Uh, do we have enough parts to get an engine? I don't think we do. Uh, you know what? We're just going to sell this right off the bat. We're just going to sell it um, just because I'm in a hurry. My offer no longer valid. Yep. Sell it. Sell it. We need to get a little bit more. I uh, can't sell those. We can't sell those. And I need more of that to sell. Because, all right, let's see. The next thing we're going to want to get is we're going to want to get the blue engine. Which, I don't know why it's not showing up. Yeah, open market. We want the blue hard core. 32 coins. So we're going to need to do some serious grinding. Let's get there since we only have, we're going to have about 13 coins here in a minute. We're not going to be able to do much with that extra energy. Unfortunately, is what it is. I mean, even a, uh, even a hornet is going to take us two points of energy. So... We're going to just go put a little bit of armor on this thing. A little maybe spaced armor on the front. If you are really new to cross out, um, spaced armor is just you use uh, lightweight parts to connect them further out from your build. Uh, that way they get detonated and take damage uh, and the core of your build uh, does not. Well, it's not the best spaced armor there, but we're going to see what we can do. We got these guns right here. They're a little... You know what? We're just going to put a door... We're just going to slap a van door on the back. I'm going to be lazy. Um, do I have any better bits we can use there? Yeah, this one would be better. A little bigger. A little bigger. Okay, what else? I don't usually build in front of the camera. Uh, because, well, frankly, I just... I like to make mistakes on my own. And I know I uh, there's people that are going, Oh, gee, that's terrible. How could you put that piece there? What were you thinking? What were you thinking, G? But we're speed building here. I want to do a little building in front on you guys uh, for you guys in front of the camera because I haven't done it for a while. So we are doing this. We got spaced armor in the front. We're just using layered armor bits here uh, for the rear, just to get our hit points up. Just to skosh. We got a few parts left. We should be using as many bumpers as we can as well. Even though I shouldn't be putting a bumper to. The it needs to be attached to a frame. That's what it needs to be attached to. But we're just gonna we're just gonna fudge it because with this canvas piece just has like no hit points. It's gonna get blown off. So putting a bumper on that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. Fender pieces make great gun mounts, but we just can't fit these this way. We're just gonna call this one good right now. I know we have some parts left. But we're just keeping our power score down and low. We're just going to try this. We're going to put these both on the same key here. Because if you fire one, it's going to give you a bunch of recoil. It makes your second shot a lot harder to land. So we're going to just put them on the same key. We're going to see what we can do in just a little goofy dual Avenger uh, pew pew mode here. All right. Let's see what we can do. We got over here. He's toast. Okay. All right. We got our favorite paint here. Isotope. You guys know I love isotope. Should probably be running six wheels and a heavier version of this thing. Instead of just four, but we'll get to that later. Kind of getting some oversteer here. All right, here we go. David. David, we shouldn't be at this range. We should not be at this range. We're too close. We're too close. This guy's got a decent dual Avenger build right there, but can we get his guns? Yes, we can. I thought that was going to do it on the Avengers. I thought it would do it. Oh, no. We need more weight on this thing. We got to get a kill, though. We can kill. Kill assist. We're going to take it. Boom. Ow. All right, we are adding some more weight to the front of this build to deal with recoil 
that's what we're gonna do. So, where's my heavy bumper? Let's put it, frame it up, stick it on here. Where is our canvas bits? Can we still aim the guns if we put it there? Looks like we can. What can we jam in the front of this? I do this. And can we get more frames on here? There we go. Now we're going to do heavy bumper right attached to the frames there. Just slap all the bumper bits that we have on the front of this thing because they have the most damage resistance and weight. We do need the weight. Um, we have room for another wheel in the center of this thing. Not in this particular loadout. All right, if I pull that, there we go. Pull this. All right, moving this to the front. Okay, what kind of wheels do we have left? I could just use some non-steering would be fine. Um, so let's go buy some. In the market, bum, bum, bum. Go away. Don't want hardcore right now. We don't have the money. We don't have it. It's just looking at white wheels here. Uh, medium wheel. We're just going to buy two. And we should we should be putting in the trade. But the parts are so cheap. We just want these instantly. Uh, and I'm recording. So there's that. Alright. So back to storage. Medium wheel. There we go. Fit. Fit in there. No. Nope, gun's blocking it. Great. Give me medium wheel. No. Come on. Oh, I'm going to have to move these guns up a little bit. We'll see what we can do here. I'm blaming the isotope paint for making this... There we go. For making this build get wrecked. I'm blaming the isotope. <sighs> okay. Alright, we just have to move these up one weld point. Uh, that's doable as long as they're... Nope, are they not attached to the cab? They're not. Then we must fix this. We must fix this. Can we move it back? Yep. We got to make sure that we're attached to the cab, guys. Because if they're attached to some wimpy little armor piece and it gets blown off, then there goes your uh, there goes your weapons. And that's no good. No weapons. No fun. Got to have weps. We got ten parts left. Let's see what we can do here. Go a little bit more heavy duty. Just get some hit points. Boom. Uh, we get these fender bits. Can I get them on? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So, get in there. Get, get, get in there. Gonna go the other way. Why is it fitting on the other side? Wait. Wait. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's just get exactly in the right spot. Okay. Beautiful. And we get these little guys. Where do I want to put them? Is that going to work? Is we don't. Yeah, it's just going to mess up my firing angles. It's just going to mess up my firing angles. Do we need that? Not really. Uh, if you're really going for hit points and you don't have a very high part limit, use your biggest parts. Because then you get a better durability to part ratio. So we're going to just slap our bigger pieces on here. Yeah, a little space armor if we put it out there to the side. Why not? Why not? Yeah, there we go. And one more. Okay. And we'll end with... Oh, we got a few pieces left still. Okay. Uh, hatchets. Hatchets, hatchets, hatchets. I guess... That works. Not the best placement of a hatchet I've ever done, but we're going to just call it call it good. We're going to change our paint. Full isotope. Like I hate it so much. We'll call this one Dual Avenger here. Dual Avenger starter. Or Dual Avenger Mr. G. There we go. Why not? We'll call this one uh, whoops. Don't want to want to save over it. I do that a lot. I do that so many times. We'll call this Shoddy Growl, Mr. G. We'll put these on exhibition for you guys. Uh, if you want to try them out. If you're super new and 
try them out. I'm sure there's better ones, but this is what I got for now for you guys. And I left both the guns on right click. I hate right click. Oh, so close. So close. Got some auto cannons over there. Oh, we winged them. We're doing extreme range here. We need to be careful because we only have nine rounds. So we do not have an ammo box yet. There we go. Take it, Steven. Eight rounds left. Get him. Get him. We're doing some long range sniping right now. This guy. Can we get this guy? Should we get in the circle? Should we get in the circle? We should get in the circle. Alright, let's get this guy. We gotta make sure not to miss. Winged him. It's that jawbreaker cab again. Let's get him. There we go. We did some hurt there. We did some hurt. We're down to five rounds. Make him count, G. Make him count. Yeah, we need an ammo box to make this build work. Because we're flipping over now. This guy's just wrecking face. We need a jawbreaker. That's a good build. <laughs> oh. All right, we are ending up the episode here with the triple shotgun version. This guy, why would you do that? Don't put your weapons way up in the air on a like little tiny piece of armor like that, guys. Don't do it. Don't do that. It's a bad plan. Put your weapons on the cab or gun mount. There you go. There you go, Wyvern. Great starter cab, too. Great starter cab. Okay, here we go. Let's get Nicholas. Bot killing time. Nick. 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 You've Colossus on that. Real player. Real player. Real player. Get real player. Get the... F there we go. Done. Neutered. Get him. Get him. God, this thing works. This little build works just fine. We're going to get three. We'll take it. We'll take it. Da, 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 da. All right, anybody left? It's two guys. Where are these guys? Where are these guys? Need a radar. Need a radar on this build, I guess. Or a radio. We forgot those two things when we were making it. You know, not essential, but they are handy. They do help. They do help. Dominic, can we kill steal this guy? We're going to get an assist anyway. Boom. MVP. Look at sweeping in for the kill steal. New level. Nice. All right. We got new parts and storage as well. That's always good news. So back to garage. We are now engineer level eight. Oh, we got the gun mount, which is a really good part, you guys. If you uh, don't use it and you're new... This guy's your friend. It's great for putting weapons on or for creating uh, spaced armor. Um, because if you didn't know, this thing's got uh, pass-through, which is what all grill parts and frame parts have, where a certain amount of damage just passes through them rather than being taken directly by the part itself. All right, boys and girls, uh, this was it for this one. My first blue parts, my first new account. It's been a while since I've been back at this power score. So, uh, yeah, the Avenger build... Not going to recommend that one for new players. Limited ammo doesn't do great at close range. I'd say probably stay away from that. Luparas on a growl are your friend with cooling. Don't forget to put radiators on those things. If you guys found this useful and you want more videos from this account, uh, from my level 8 engineers account, let me know in the comments. Y'all be good. If you need help with your builds, do check out the Discord. Link in description. We got a whole channel of people in there that can help you. All right, that's it for today. Be good. Hug your moms. Good luck out there in the wasteland. Go kill some bots. Mr. G out.